deeper sense of connectedness with each other much easier in the future than they have in the past. I think there's an energy shift on the planet. I think people's intuitive faculties are developing. What we used to call insights or common sense, people would begin to call developing intuition. Um, flashes of knowing without understanding how they got from one step to another. That's part of intuition. Being able to understand a person's feelings and be able to perceive it. Sometimes thoughts, but I think more feelings when someone's talking to you and you sense a, a sense of compassion, a sense of connectedness. This is going to become much easier as we grow and as human evolution takes us forward in the next 10, 15, 20 years. So I think people who are afraid of it now or feel, well, I can never feel that, can never understand that. Once they start having small experiences, we'll be less afraid of them, and that will open them up to greater experiences, more experiences. So I think in the next 10 years, it's going to be very commonplace for people to say, yes, I feel a sense of connectedness with my friend, with my spouse, um, with my pet, even with the plants in my backyard. Ultimately, the best ingredient in a relationship, from Casey's perspective, is unconditional love love given out selflessly with no thought of what is received in return. So from Casey's perspective, love is something, an act of giving. It is not so much what I'm getting in return. Love is not what is someone doing for me, but instead, what can I do for another person? Edgar Casey's philosophy has a fascinating principle that we uh, grow to heaven only by leaning on the arm of somebody we've helped. How does service fit into this whole process of karma and past lives? Well, uh, once you actually accept the idea that life is continual and that it's one, that we're all one family, then anyone you meet, any action you do in this life that actually contributes to the health of the family, mm -hmm. to the future of the family, mm -hmm. benefits us all. And that concept is in reincarnation and also is a principle that drives the idea that service in this life to others is important. So that's the key to the healing. Yes, the key to the healing. What a practical way of living if we use reincarnation as a way to really get us hopeful about the future and not focused on the past. Yes. Reincarnation is the process by which our souls meet the consequences of our attitudes and deeds. It teaches us that there are soul lessons for spiritual development, particularly through our relationships. Those relationships give us the opportunity to grow. In Casey's philosophy, learning how to love is the key to life. In his vision for the future, reincarnation will be widely understood and accepted, and it will show us that we're going to be part of human history for this and many new millennia to come.